the village that is consistently at the top of humorous lists such as the ugliest in the Alps may be found high up on a mountain at 7500 feet above sea level. But don't make judgments too fast. Val Torrens was designed specifically for ski tourism and it has proven to be highly successful. The fact that Val Torrens lives up to its reputation as the Alps Ibiza is an extra benefit. The party begins on the slopes just after noon and ends at Malaysia, the largest nightclub in the Alps, just as others are preparing to have their breakfast. Val Torrens along with Courchevel, Maribel and Menuhir form up the Tree Valley Supergiant system, which has about 370 miles of slopes spread across four valleys. To put it another way, there is something to fit everyone's taste and preferences, whether you enjoy tricks racing or enjoy your time. Val Torrens only has one undeniable disadvantage. Except the ornamental trees in the snow square, there are no trees and if you experience whiteout, it will become quite a nuisance. While you're enjoying these awesome drone shots, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. We are posting videos like this twice a week and we would hate for you to miss it. Val Torrens is the highest resort in the Alps and one of the most snow sure, with north-facing slopes ensuring excellent snow throughout the season. It's a typical purpose-built resort, small and with plenty of slope-side accommodation, hotels, apartments and chalet. Because Val Torrens is so small, it doesn't really matter where you stay, there is also a very good free bus service around the resort. The extensive local slopes, suitable for all levels, are conveniently located near the accommodation, as are the convenient, gentle nursery slopes and good access to the rest of the enormous three valleys. There are several covered shopping centers with a diverse selection of pubs and restaurants. A decent sports center is also available. At the heart of the resort is the snow-covered Place de Caron, where beginners, skiers and boarders mix with pedestrians. Many pubs and restaurants with big terraces overlook this area, providing for excellent viewing in late February, March and April, when the weather is warmer and sitting outside is enjoyable. Val Torrens is a comfortable area to stay, despite its purpose-built origins and ugly appearance, from a distance. Much of the village is given over to pedestrian only walkways and roads. Although the catered chalet in Val Torrens are aimed for people on a budget, the accommodation is often of a higher standard than most purpose-built resorts. The hotels, on the other hand, are of a high standard, pleasant and attractive, with two hotels in particular standing out, the Altapura and the Kohinoor. If you are searching for a catered chalet, there are several to choose from, with the majority of them offering ski-in, ski-out convenience. Guests living at these often have access to an indoor swimming pool or spa, despite their small size. 